Okay, hi there. So I'm gonna try to talk about your, quickly, uh, your options for developing in Svelte Native. So one thing you can do to practice is come over here to the REPL, open that up. It's gonna take some time to load. It'll load you a QR code. Again, that could take a while. This sometimes for me has taken like a minute or two or just never. So you're just gonna have to wait. Um, sometimes when you try to scan the QR code, it's gonna crash. You'll have no idea why. Sometimes it's because you have a typo here. Um, sometimes it can be if you haven't updated your apps in a while, you might need to delete them, like uninstall them and then reinstall them. But uh, here we are at the REPL. I'm going to open it up. So I'm gonna open Playground and then I'm going to scan the QR code like this. And with all of this, you're just gonna have to be patient with some things. It's not quite as smooth as web development where you just have a browser, you just put HTML in there and it works um, since it's it has to do this whole connection thing and all that. Uh, and by the way, this is me recording my um, screen. This is, you're not gonna have this here. I'm using a reflector just so you can see it. Um, like this is my actual phone. This isn't from here. Okay, so here, it's connected, that works. So sometimes it might not, and you're just gonna have to try again or do something. Now here you can, let's say, rather than tap the button, we say tap the butt, and then you're going to launch preview. So whenever you update it, you're going to launch preview. It's not gonna do auto reload for you, like um, with the Svelte REPL. Okay, so now it says sending, send complete, and I've been having this issue where sometimes it's kind of laggy, like it doesn't quite pick up your changes for a bit, or like if I delete. Okay, so there we go, now it's working. Um, so you're just gonna have to be patient with it. Okay, so that's the REPL. You just change stuff here and then launch preview. Uh, the other option that you have is the um, to do it in local. So here they've got a nice felt API. Um, you'll follow these instructions, dgit half Nelson Svelte Native template, and half, half Nelson has been doing a lot of work on Svelte Native, he's awesome. And then after you've done that, you'll change directory into whatever the name of your app is, and make sure then to npm install. So for example, I've already done this, but I would do something like this, I would run that, and then let me make this bigger, yeah, I'd run that. Sorry, I would do dgit blah 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 if you have it installed globally. And then I would change directory into my app and then I would npm install and then TNS preview. So I've done all that. Then you can TNS preview. It'll give you a QR code and then you scan it. Okay, so these are your two options. Sometimes one of them won't work. So you're just gonna have to try the other one. At least that's been my experience. Um, and you're just gonna have to keep trying. You might have to uninstall the apps and then reinstall them, or you might have a syntax error. For, for example, I was, when I was doing it locally, I, where's my REPL? Um, I had, rather than label, I had misspelled it as labla like that. And I wasn't, I was getting an error, but it was, it was kind of some of the errors, or most of the errors are pretty hard to understand, but so, I copy and paste it into the REPL. And then when I did that, I think it told me um, what was wrong. But let's see if this crashes now. But yeah, so it crashes on main thread, um, create element. Anyway, it's because it's misspelled, right? And I'm not getting any like good indication of that. So that might happen too. Um, these are just sort of the errors that I've run into and how I fixed them while doing development. So here you'll get a QR code after doing TNS preview. And so it'll work the same. You just scan it and then it'll be on your phone. And there you can save in your project and it'll automatically refresh. Okay, so like I said, uh, just be patient, try different things. Uh, the development experience won't be quite as smooth. Svelte Native is still, you know, it's still in development, um, but it is fun to use and Yep, that's all. Let me know if you have any questions. If you run into any different errors, I can try to cover them, If see if we can figure them out. But anyway, bye-bye.